Hi everybody and welcome to 2021. It's finally arrived. I'm sure that when we look back over this last year, no one could have expected or believed that it would have been possible for the whole world to come to a standstill through the COVID-19 virus. Yet, we have seen God do great things. Great things in the hearts and lives of many churches, many leaders, and many, many people. I've had so many wonderful testimonies that have come in during this past year, and it's been so, so encouraging. So I have to say that we're into 2021, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be great. I was reminded of the scripture in 2 Kings chapter 6, where the Syrian army surrounded Elisha. Elisha was at home. He was minding his own business, and suddenly he and his servant became aware that they were surrounded by this army. And when the servant looked out, all he could see were the problems. All he could see were the enemy. And he was full of fear and full of doubt and questions. And when he spoke to his master, he said, What shall we do? What shall we do? And Elisha answered and said, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be against us. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, open this young man's eyes that he may see. And the Bible says the Lord opened this, the eyes of the young man and he saw. And behold, beyond the enemy, beyond the Syrian army, he saw that the mountains were full of horses and chariots of fire from God. And of course, when he saw that, his faith grew. So the prayer that I have in my heart for my life, my family, and for every one of us as we were listening and participating in the work of God, is that every day, God, open my eyes. Open our eyes to see what you want us to see. Because that's when true faith comes. That's when the doubt goes. That's when the questions, the fear goes. And true faith comes. So no matter what has happened in this past year, with all its ups and downs, with the, the closing of churches and, and, and family suffering and fellowship suffering, so many things. In the midst of that, we have still so much to be grateful for. But as we enter this new year, I want to encourage you to make this your daily prayer. Lord, I want you to show me what you see. I want to have that heart that sees. Open the eyes of my heart that I will be clear that faith will come victory will come and that in every situation we can make the most in every day of every opportunity. I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for all the testimonies and as I close I want to encourage you spread the link. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like and have a wonderful day, a wonderful year. God bless you.